Hi, welcome to myprojectbaza.com. Here we discuss about the job title of the project that is FIEP preserving the name of association rules from outsourced to transacting entities. The main objective of this paper is to effective corporate privacy. In this paper, it is for outsourcing rules that in line within the corporate privacy rules preserving framework. In this paper, it is for preserving the data of corporate data owners. Let me discuss about the abstract of our project. In this work, we are mining the producers from the encrypted database. In the existing system, there is a high risk which occurs when mining the queries from encrypted database. The data owner lacking in expertise or computation resources can outsource his mining needs to a third party service provider, that means the server. Data owner transforms his data and ships, ships it to the server and sends mining queries to the server and recovers the true pattern from the extracted patterns received from the server. Then in this paper, we focus about the privacy thing, that is the encrypted data of data owner by using the attribute based encryption method. Then attribute encryption method is for encrypting the data based on the attributes in the data set for the actual building our project. From the encrypted database, we extract the data from the database. We are mining the data by using the data called metadata. Then in this paper, we are encrypting the data based on the algorithm called AES algorithm. It is for encrypting the values in the attributes which are in the data set. By this method, we can avoid the attackers because everything is from the encrypted database. Due to this, we can evaluate the better performance results when compared to the existing system. Let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our project. In this project, first we have to select the data set for the process. After the data set has been selected, data set is the input for our project. After selecting the data set, second step is to load the data set into the database. After the data set is loaded into the database, data is encrypted based on the attribute based encryption method. Then client sends an query to the third party, from third party sends it to the data owner. Finally, the data owner mines a query which is to the third party and third party outsources it to the client. In this first step is the data set selection. It is the uh, input process of our uh, project. After the data set has been selected, it has to be pre-processed. And there is the eliminations of multi values or other unwanted values in the data set. After the data set has been pre-processed, it has been <laughs> Encrypted by using the attribute based encryption method and by using the algorithm called AES algorithm. Uh, the data has, has been called as encrypted data. After the data has been encrypted, clients send some queries to the their third party. Third party forwards it to the data owner. After the data owner receives a query from third party, when data owner mines a uh, different pattern of the data and decrypts the data and send it to the third party. As the third party receives the data from data owner, uh, third party receives as a file, send it to the client, it is outsourced it to the client and the client uh, receives the um, answer for the query. This is the flow of our project. Let me um, discuss about the demo of our project. First, we have to um, run home.java file and try to see home.java and uh, access the RAM file. Home page of open, then click the data set option. Next page will be open, then browse for our input process that is for data set and click the easy data set page of the explicit data set for our process. Then click view button, it is a, it is for our outsource transaction data set. In this case, there is a, some username and then there are uh, product purchased by the individual. Then the product ID, then quantity, price, and total price. These are our data set attributes. Then data set has been loaded into the data set. Click the your data set or data set inserted into the database page. Then click next button for viewing the data set in from the database and pre processing the database, sorry, data set. Then click the pre processing button. Pre processing has been successfully finished. Next click the show button. The data has been showed. And there is uh, 
and water palace like uh, some like uh, <coughs> Koshima can be replaced as the null value after that null values can be eliminated it is called the pre processing and filtering the null values and to show the values so that has been successfully the null values have been eliminated we can repeat on this and we have to estimate the support for every product then click the button estimate support then if you are entering the product every 10 minutes with id total occurrences of 5.0 then the support for that id is 0 0.090 something then that we have to get the confidence for that id then enter the username <coughs> then the user side then enter the product id from that we can calculate the confidence and the support values and that occurrences are on point values are based on size and 10 product id we have to calculate the confidence for the product id and uh, um, username and then we have to calculate the frequency based on the support and confidence values for the product id 10 we are calculating the support value is 0 0.9 and then confidence value is 2.2 and we can calculate the frequency as for every um, values in the data set we can calculate like this then we have to hide the sensitive details of other data set by using the background knowledge like that and then click the hide sensitive details button the details the sensitive values are hidden in the data set then after click the attribute based encryption we have to encrypt the data by using the attribute based encryption method <laughs> If you are clicking the username button, that uh, um, values in the username attributes are encrypted. It is uh, the value and it is the ciphertext value for every um, every every value every value in the data. It is a for product name attribute. Then this is for product ID attribute. This is for price attribute. Then this is for quantity attribute. This is for subscriber attributes. Then click the next button. Then view the database encrypted database encrypted table. Um, we can view the encrypted table then we have to outsource in the database then browse uh, choose the database file and then send to the third party and go to the browser and click the database view the outsource of java like the third party <coughs> data has been database has been outsourced to third party the database from one it has the database then uh, we have to calculate the what are the counts of the products purchased for request and post some queries like uh, to mine uh, and then run then run query post or java then we have to put some queries like uh, put in data post query and then details has been received in that frequent data then frequent the purchase items are in the total product id 423 11 users are there for compost rapid transition in the product id 322 total users are 6 like the product name is algorithms gulab jamun like that we are calculating frequently purchase items then we have to go purchase items for uh, like that then send frequent patterns to the client <coughs> 